welcome back to Camtasia Tutorial. In this video I'm going to show you guys how to provide a moving uh, color change. So a uh, color fade from one color to another color in Camtasia Studio 8. So you're obviously going to need Camtasia Studio 8, which I have right here for me. Uh, and you're going to need a clip. I'm just using a free clip from movietools.info, which is a great place. It's where I got my intro clip. And if you'll notice in the intro, uh, that's what we're going to be doing. So, first things first, you're going to need to take your thing, so you're right, right click, take it, and drag it into your thing. Make sure it's right at the beginning, and perfect. Next, I'm going to go ahead and resize this so it is the same size as the video, or so it's the same size as my screen. There we are. Pretty simple. So we start off with this nice red. Now, I'm going to zoom in a little bit so I can see. Now the way we're going to do this is we are going to split the video at one second intervals likewise. So that's the first thing you're going to need to do. I'm going to do it four times because I don't want to do it more because why waste time. Uh, so now that I have four videos, now they're technically all, there's a uh, smooth pickup between them. If you'll notice, they are completely smooth intervals. But so even if you have audio, it will be completely fluid. But Ah, uh, I can edit each clip separately. So let's go to the second clip. Go to Visual Properties. I'm going to drag my playhead over it so I can see what's happening in it. Now, you have a bunch of options here. I'm going to click Colorize. This will change it to a different color. Uh, I'm going to go with a nice neutral yellow compared to the original red. So, original red, yellow. Next, what we're going to do is go to Transitions and select a Fade Transition. Now, that's important, not Fade Through Black, just Fade. Uh, and then add that between your clips. I'm going to add one for every clip, likewise. Um, I think this is perfect. Next thing you're going to need to do is go into your second clip, change the color of that one as well by Visual Properties, Colorize, and selecting a new color. I'm going to go with a blue. Or, I don't know, purple seems cool. And then I'm going to drag slider to 100%, so just, just bear with me, I have to find a color. Um, oh, my playhead's not over it. There we go. So that's perfect, that's a pinky. Then I'm going to go to the last clip, go to transitions, or uh, not transitions, stay in your visual properties, click colorize. So that's your thing. I am going to go with how about purple this time. I'm just going to check to make sure it's not similar to the previous one. Oh wait, it is. It's the same one. So let's actually go with green. So here we are. We have green, a pinky, a yellow, and a red. Next, if we play it, uh, observe the thing. It will slowly fade through the colors that you have selected. That's all that you have to do to get a nice fade. Now remember this works with people clips as well. And this works with pretty much anything, which is the beauty of it. And you can also customize it a lot by shortening fades. For instance, if I make this short fade extremely short, it basically just instantly switches, but with a slight smoothness. If I make it longer, it's much more gradual into that color. So there's a lot of customizing you can do. You can add different types of transitions than fades. For instance, if I make them fade through black instead of a fade, I, it will look completely different. Uh, let's go back and I'll show you how that looks. Uh, if you notice, they switch, which is, some people want that, but personally I'm a much more fan of just the clean fade between. So that's it for today's tutorial. Remember to subscribe, like, comment. Uh, I'm doing this new thing where every subscriber I get will uh, post a new video up to 100 subscribers. So do subscribe and get more fun videos. I'll see you guys later.